Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will see how to create this toggle button in React. So we have a lot of things going on here. So we have our conditional rendering and then we have our use state hook here. So we will see in this video how to use conditional rendering as well as how to use states in React. There are few ways to render something conditionally in React. We can use this double AND operator or we can use if else statement or we can use conditional rendering. They are kind of same thing, but let's see the subtle differences they have. So first of all, over here, we are showing Apple in our screen. We have a variable Apple, which is a Boolean and a value is true. And inside our div, we are using this Apple variable to conditionally render our H2, which is Apple with a capital A. So over here, this statement will only run if Apple is true, because in the case of AND operator, double AND operator, the both statements must be true. So let's see an example. If we have a false statement and a true statement, it will print a false. It will print a false. Similarly, if we have a false statement and a false statement, it will again print false. But if we have a true statement and another statement is also true, then we will see our true statement. So over here, this is a true statement and we have an H1. So this statement will run as Apple. But if I change it to false, see, we will not see this statement because over here it's false and false and H1 is false. And because this is not a Boolean, this will, this will always be true because this is a, sta a true statement. So in order to make it run, we need to change it to true. Save it and let's see our Apple. Now let's see how conditional operator will work here. Similar to our previous example, Apple is true. Now, we are using that Boolean over here. So after the question mark, if this statement is true, we'll see an apple on the screen. However, if this statement is false, we'll see a banana. So over here, because apple is true, this statement is running. If I change it to false and save it, you see, now we see banana. Because this is false, this won't run, the apple won't run and we'll see banana on the screen. Now let's see the example I showed you at the beginning of this video. Now if I'm clicking here, we are seeing the text is changing from apple to banana. So what's happening here? Sorry about this big button. <laughs> I was making it better, but I know it looks so weird, but okay, let's focus on our task. So we have something called hooks in React and if you don't know about hooks, uh, you can read your, their documentation. But over here, I can briefly explain what this use state hook does. So we have our change text variable, which is set to true. And this is not a variable. This is a function. So whenever this function gets executed, this value will be changed. And that will depend on the function. In, a, in our return statement, we have our button with the on click event handler and a callback function handle change. Now, what will happen when we click this button? So when, when we click this button, the set change text function or method will get executed and it will flip the value of change text. So initially it was true. As soon as we click this button, it will change it to false. So this value will change to false as we click this button. And this value is linked to true. And when we press the button, this value will change to false and the banana will be shown on the screen. So if it's true, we'll see an apple. So if I refresh this, you'll see the first thing is apple because this is true. As I click it, the handle change callback function will 
run this method which will flip the value of change text from true to false and you'll see an apple when it's true and you'll see a banana when it's false so that's how you do conditional rendering in react i also have a tutorial blog where you can find uh, javascript and react tutorials and uh, i'm actually in the process of adding a lot more of these tutorials so i'm currently creating those and adding as i make them so you can subscribe to my blog from here so you can click this and put your email and you will get my tutorials directly in your inbox so if you like my content then you can subscribe to my website as well yeah thank you